So today we are going to solve the MCQs of chapter number 4 introduction to layers. In this uh, thing the first 12 MCQs are from your textbook and uh, remaining few are the ones which I felt that it could be asked. Fine, so we begin. Question number 1 which one of the following is a type of layer? The options are uh, time bar, gradient, palette and uh, time edit mode. The correct answer is gradient. Then which of the following have its own layer? Then uh, object, element and effect as its own layer. Question number 3. Which of the following panel shows the parameter of a layer? Then the answer is params panel. Where is params panel located? It is located on this corner. right? So, whenever you click on any object or whenever you create any object, that panel shows you the properties of that object, that color, uh, x, y distance, all the things. Then, which of the following is the default setting a uh, default setting for the blend method then by default the setting is composite ok in uh, this chapter we will learn that we can also change the blend method if we want to apply the gradient effect to other object or something like that way so that you have learned but here the answer is composite default method question number 5 which of the following feature using which of the following feature we can apply an effect to one layer without applying it to the layers beneath it answer is encapsulation how so in the previous video you can see that there were uh, three circles from which we had applied the gradient effect to only one circle by adding encapsulation to gradient and that circle on which we want to give the effect fine question number six each individual element of the canvas is broken down into which of the following components? It is broken down into layers. Each object, gradient, everything has got his, got his own layer. Which of the following feature is used to attach a vertex of an object to the vertex of the blind? then the answer is link to blind now when can you use this facility for example if you want to uh, if you create a sun in the center and if you want to show that earth is moving round that is taking revolution around the sun then you have to draw the path in the semicircular shape and then draw the earth and attach that thing that process is known as link to blind. Then which of the following represents a new layer created after encapsulation operation? So new layer which is created is known as inline canvas. Question number 9. Each layer has its own set of which of the following components? Answer is parameters. Question number 10. Which of the following term represents grouping of the things together? Here the answer is encapsulation. Question number 11. Which of the following term represents the different levels on which we place our objects stacked above and below each other? Then that is known as layer. The name of the chapter is only introduction to layer. So, here most of the answers will be that only layer. Fine. Then, gradient, blur, distortion and filter are the types of which of the following components. Here also the answer will be layer. They all are considered as different layers. Now, we come to question number 13. Which uh, using uh, use of which uh, what gives the freedom to work with each object individually 
Answer is layers. Modifying dash does not disturb the object either above or below it. Then layer, modifying a layer. Fine. Fifteenth question. Dash can a dash also be a dash can also be rearranged, allowing us to change the order in which the objects are displayed. Thus, changing the appearance of our scene. Then that is known as layers. For example, if you have drawn sun, mountains, trees, all these things, then sun you want at the utmost back. Mountains before it, trees before the mountains and sun both. Then you can adjust the layer sequence by dragging and dropping from this corner. You can do that operation. Fine. Now, question number sixteen. Every dash has its own layer. Object also has got its own layer. Element also has got its own layer. Effect also has got its own layer. So all of them. Question number seventeen: The blend mode. In the blend mode, the default setting is dash, which simply displays the content of the layer. That is composite that we have already discussed before. Also, fine. Then, what is used for uh, gradient to be applied only to a layer? Single layer and not to all the objects below the gradient. Then the answer is encapsulation. This is also a repeated question. Which key should be used to hold, press and hold to select two different layers? Answer is control key. Not only here in uh, selecting these two, but for example, I want to select different words here. Then. Anywhere I can use Control key to select two or more objects. Then, clicking on right click encapsulation will create a new layer named Inline Canvas. If Blur layer is used on dash of the layer inside the Inline Canvas, it would just blur the Inline Canvas layer and not. Every layer that lies under the inline canvas, then the answer will be top layer. Then uh, which tool is used to create user path for rotation? That is blind tool. Then select uh, blind tool to create our path for rotation, and select dash from the tool option panel. You have to select create outline blind. So this many MCQs were there from this chapter. We complete this chapter's MCQ over here. Thank you.